Alright guys, today I'm going to do a video showing you how to set a spark plug gap. Okay, the first thing you got to do, you got to measure it to see what it's set at. And this one was set at 45 thousandths. Let me show you a close up here. You can see it's just about at 45 thousandths, which is way too much. I usually run most of my spark plugs at uh, about 35 thousandths. The way I always do it is just bend it in like this. And just keep measuring it until, until you get it to where you need it. Okay, now I'll get it, get it to about 40. So you'll need to go some more. Sometimes it takes quite a bit to bend them. They're usually set a little big from the factory. Okay, now I'll get it set about 37,000, so I still need to go just a little bit more. You want to check it often while you're bending it. Now sometimes when you get them you'll have to widen the gap which I'll show that in a minute. And that's basically all you got to do to make the gap smaller. Now you see I got it set for right at 30 thousandths so I need to open it up 5 thousandths to get it to 35. Now what some people do you put this in there and bend it up you don't want to do that because you'll be pushing the center electrode back inside here. But actually what you want to be doing is bending this outside piece. That's where this little hole right here in the spark plug tool comes in handy. You just turn it around. You just turn it around like this. Catch the gap in the groove right there. You just want to bend upward on it like that. You can feel it bend. See, I opened it up to 40 thousandths. It's easier to make the gap bigger like this than it is to make it smaller. And bend it back in. I've got it right at 36 thousandths. Now I've got it set right at 35 thousandths. That's really all there is to it. Now you can measure the gap with a regular feeler gauge like this, but it's harder to set the gap because uh, you usually have to open it up or close it and it really comes in handy like that. Well that's about it guys. If you got any questions or comments just leave it in the comment below or send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.